have you ever heard about the infamous purple gorilla that lived in people's computers? His name was Bonzi Buddy. Well, hello there. I don't believe we've been properly introduced. I'm Bonzi. Bonzi Buddy was a virtual pet and personal assistant program that was available for Windows computers. It was developed to be a fun and helpful tool for users, with features like pop-up reminders, managing downloads, web searches, and even the ability to send emails. Not a problem. Bonzi could also share jokes. What did the beaver say to the tree? It's been nice knowing you. Ha ah, I need a minute to recover from that one. Tell you facts. Did you know that the most widely sung song in the English-speaking world is Happy Birthday to You? How interesting. And even sing songs. But you look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle built for two. One of my favorite features when I was a kid growing up was using Bonzi's text-to-speech function. What the fuck did you just fucking say about me, you little bitch? As a kid who grew up during the rise of the global internet, or as I like to say, the AOL days, Bonzi Buddy actually felt really cool and unique to me and a lot of my friends. At first, the software's virtual pet engine used a green parrot named Petey, originally created for Microsoft Agent. It wasn't until 1999 when the developers released a new version of Bonzi, which featured their own brand new IP, Bonzi Buddy. The friendly and sometimes over-the-top purple gorilla quickly became very popular. But there was a darker side to Bonzi Buddy that we didn't realize at the time. Bonzi Buddy faced criticism and backlash from users and industry experts. Many people found the software to be intrusive and annoying. What the fuck? My PC actually just crashed, I'm not even joking. It also had a tendency to display ads and promote other software products. Some users reported Bonzi would often urge them to buy additional features and was known to install itself on computers without the owner's knowledge or consent. Despite all of this, Bonzi Buddy remained popular for a time and even spawned a series of spin-off products. It wasn't until 2004 when things finally came to a screeching halt for the young purple gorilla. On February 18th, the FTC filed a complaint against Bonzi Software Inc. for deceptive and misleading advertising practices. Bonzi was ordered to pay $75,000 in fees for violating the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act by collecting personal info from children under the age of 13. Soon after, the software was officially classified as adware by the US government. Today, Bonzi Buddy is largely a relic of the past, remembered mostly as a cautionary tale about the dangers of downloading unfamiliar software. It's important to always be cautious when downloading and installing new programs, and to be aware of the potential risks and pitfalls that may come with them. And one quick fun fact before I go. While doing research for this video, I learned the creators Jay and Joe Bonzi recently released Bonzi Buddy NFTs on the open sea. However, after a quick search, it doesn't look like they're doing too good. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Until next time, my friend. <laughs>